Hey guys, thanks for viewing the channel. Hope everyone's having a good day. Quick video here talking about the Ruger MPR. I've had this rifle for about six months. I've had about 1,500 rounds through it. I've been running it pretty exclusively lately. My Colt has been kind of in the safe, not really doing much, which is a shame, but I'm just trying to get used to this rifle. So Ruger MPR, I'm not gonna talk about this whole thing here, but pretty much right when I got the rifle, I had to send it back to Ruger. I honestly don't think Ruger did anything to it because I had the same issues when it got back. One of the main issues was it wasn't locking open on any empty magazines. So went into ADCO. Luckily, I live right, right down the street from ADCO Firearms. And Steve welded a little piece of metal onto the bolt catch, made it longer. So now this, mag this rifle locks open almost anything I put through it. He thinks that the lower is somewhat out of spec. Uh, that's a whole other video. I'm not going to get into that here, but it's fixed now. So typically I don't really believe in a break-in period. I think my rifle or gun should work right out of the box. I shouldn't have to run certain ammo and clean it now and run this. I think that's BS. I want my stuff to work right out of the box. This rifle has kind of maybe opened my eyes a little bit to that break-in period because I was having issues with this right off the bat. And now, you know, a few months later, I haven't had any hiccups with this rifle really ever. So earlier in the rifle's life when I got it, I had one failure to go in the battery. That was with Perfecta ammunition. Unfortunately, I didn't get a photo or video of that. But pretty much the round ejected and extracted, and the next round did not go into the chamber all the way. Pretty much cleared the malfunction and kept going. No issues with that. Again, that was with Perfecta 223, the Walmart ammo. That's the only really issue I've had with this. So after my, I'm gonna call them the early issues. So after the early issues with this rifle, most of the shooting I've been doing the past month or two has almost been exclusively outside and where I'm at is pretty cold right now. 20, 35 degrees-ish, depending what day I go out there. But I mean, just throwing that in there, I haven't had any malfunctions with this. My buddy used this rifle at a shoot that we went to and it was cold out and he didn't have any issues with this rifle at all. So that is definitely a bonus only on PMAGs, there's a few PMAGs that I have that the bolt never locks open. And that's not just this rifle, that's another rifle too. So I'm not even gonna even really call that malfunctions on the rifle's part, because I think it might be bad followers from Magpul, something like that. But anyways, things I really like about this rifle, the number one is the rifle length gas system. This is a super smooth shooter. Uh, going from carbine length gas systems, which is what I almost exclusively shot before this rifle, shooting my 6920 and then going to this, this rifle feels so much more smooth because there's not quite as much gas pressure there. It just, it's just, it's a more smooth shooting gun. Also, the trigger is super light. We're not loaded here. Trigger is nice. The trigger is really short. Reset is just as short. Not a bad trigger actually for coming in the rifle. So not bad, I have not cleaned this rifle. I should have mentioned that earlier. I have not cleaned it, I've only lubricated it. And again, I've had that one uh, malfunction with the Perfecta. Got a Streamlight here, Aimpoint, Magpul Pros. I've had my Trigicon on this at one time, the one to eight. I have shot sub MOA groups at 100 yards. Uh, I couldn't do it consistently. I'm not the best shooter in the world. And eight power, I'm sure if someone had more power and was a better shooter, they could tighten those groups up a little bit more, but I believe my tightest group with this at 100 yards was, I think, 0.7 inches. I forget. I was using some sort of heavier bullet, but it's pretty darn accurate. I'm just not as accurate as the rifle is. One thing that doesn't really bother me that much, but this radial muzzle device, it does help reduce a little bit of recoil, but I don't really like it because it's opened on the bottom, and uh, I went to a night shoot, and I was shooting in the prone, and we had to illuminate the targets with our lights and stuff. I had my one to eight on there. When I would shoot, the dirt would kind of come up from below the rifle and it would just kind of make things funny looking when I look, was looking through the optics. So um, that's just a gripe on my part. I mean, this is fine. It does the job well. Just not really if you're laying in the prone. I'm going to go ahead and check. This castle nut is not staked. I made a video on that and it is super tight still. Uh, again, only 1500 rounds, which I know is not very much. But that staked and it seem or it's not staked and it seems to be tight. Go ahead and check the gas key real quick. And again, I have not cleaned it. Pretty darn dirty. The gas key is still tight. And I, I know it's not a secret Ruger's staking is on the gas key. Just look 
don't look very positive to me. They look kind of weak, but it's still tight. It still works. So, so another thing I want to show you guys is this is the buffer. And as you can see, there's some weird marks there, which is kind of gouging up a few places. To me, that just, again, says that the lower is kind of out of spec. Just wanted to show you guys that. And this is the regular, you know, buffer that came with the rifle. Same with the buffer spring. But yeah, guys, my favorite thing about this rifle, definitely the rifle length gas system and the trigger. Super nice. You could, It seems like a versatile rifle, you know, if you want to put a, you know, like me, a 1 to 8 on it and, you know, run it as kind of a 100, 200, 300 yard range gun, you can do that. Or like how I have it now, kind of a fighting rifle, uh, a light aim point, red dot, something like that. You can still run it like that. Sure, if you're in buildings and stuff, that 18 inch barrel might be a little long, but I'm not doing that. So yeah, guys, hopefully there's nothing I forgot. I did have that one issue with the Perfecta ammunition. Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that was the rifle's fault. I've had a lot of that ammo through other rifles and whatever. So yeah guys, the Ruger MPR, about 1500 rounds later, six months later. If you have an MPR, let me know what your experiences are. And uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching the video.